joining us now to look at public opinion around the protests is Joe Twyman, co-founder and director of Delta Poll. Thanks very much for being with us. Now, I understand your organisation hasn't yet done a poll on this, but there is one from YouGov. Have you had a chance to see it? And, and what, what does it tell us about how people view these riots? Well, there has been a, a, a small amount of a small amount of polling on this from uh, from a variety of, uh, of different organisations, and actually, the overall story remains consistent across all of uh, all of those. An overwhelming majority of more than eight in ten, regardless of uh, regardless of which poll you look at, do not believe that the unrest at the process is justified. Indeed, similar numbers uh, oppose uh, oppose that uh, unrest taking place. And so this is something that the public are overwhelmingly opposed to. While, uh, while there are a proportion of people uh, around about, depending on how you ask the question, around about between a third and, uh, and four in ten, who believe that the protests themselves have some justification, the actual violence that, uh, that occurred is overwhelmingly opposed. Uh, what about the response, the political response and also the policing response? How do people view that? Uh, well, Keir Starmer, is felt, it's felt that uh, more people believe he is handling the situation badly than think he's handling the situation well. But that tends to be uh, along political lines. And so if you're a supporter of Keir Starmer, or indeed Labour, you probably believe that, uh, uh, that he's handling it well. And the opposite is true for, uh, for others. But what's interesting to me is the distinction for Reform UK supporters, because supporters of the, uh, of the unrest tend to be older and they're more likely to be male. But there's a substantially different response from U Reform UK uh, supporters. Uh, around about 8 in 10 believe that the protests themselves are justified. And between around one in five and one in three of that group of Reform UK supporters uh, believe that the uh, the unrest at these events, uh, or at least thinking about uh, thinking about it, is justified. And I think that is uh, that is the really interesting political dimension to this, because Conservative, Labour, and Lib Dem supporters are broadly speaking of one mind on uh, on this, but uh, but it's Reform UK who are the outliers. And do you think there will be a political effect from this? I mean, obviously, there's a Conservative leadership election in the pipeline. How do you think some of the themes that have come up during this, these events and, and riots will, will play into that? Well, that's a really interesting question, and one for which we really don't have an answer. Uh, we can look at historical precedent to see what impact these have on th uh, these types of events have on things politically. Uh, back in uh, the summer of 2011, when uh, when riots took place in uh, across cities in uh, in the UK, it had virtually no effect on the uh, uh, on the overall political landscape and uh, and the polling then. This time around, similarly, I don't think it's likely to have a massive impact on, uh, on voting intention and other, uh, other indicators. But I do think there's an interesting question about how the Conservative Party leadership candidates respond to this. Because, of course, some of those candidates believe that the, uh, the route back to political success is to win back many Reform UK supporters. And as mentioned, they tend to be in a different place from Conservative supporters on this particular subject. So I think it will be interesting to the degree to which, if any, candidates for the Conservative leadership election look to, uh, uh, look to win over Reform UK supporters with their rhetoric and their, the way they view these types of events. Joe Twyman, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts. Thank you.